welcome to Newsbreak. Do different dog breeds have different personalities? Celebrating the end of Ramadan and some incredible trick photography. But first, Suki says to subscribe. Dogs, they have their own personalities, but can you tell what those personalities are by their breed? I don't know what Suki here is, but her personality is, well, lacking. Anyways, Joe has some more answers. Hey, uh, have you met the new employee? Nah, why? No. I don't know, they're just vacant. Come on, give them a chance. You can't judge a book by its colour. And you can't judge a dog by its breed. That's according to a new study from the University of Massachusetts in the US. They found that many of the popular stereotypes about breeds scientifically aren't really a thing. Like the idea that all Border Collies are obedient or that all Chihuahuas are angry little nuggets. This study of 18,000 owners and their pups found that each dog's personality is mostly shaped by the environment they live in. There is a huge amount of behavioural variation in every breed and that at the end of the day every dog really is an individual. Hope is a lot of different dogs. Super independent, um, really affectionate with me and my husband. My dog's name is Louise. I would describe her personality as friendly but she's also kind of the queen bee. So, in some ways, your dog is just a little reflection of you. It's been a busy week at the International Space Station. Russian cosmonauts Oleg Artemev and Denis Matveev left the station for a seven-hour spacewalk to activate a robotic arm. The ISS has also welcomed some new arrivals from the SpaceX Crew 4 mission. Among them, NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins, who made history by becoming the first black woman to join the ISS crew. Ramadan is coming to an end, which means Muslims all over the world will be celebrating the festival Eid al-Fitr. We caught up with some young Aussies to find out what their Ramadan experience has been like. Hi, BTN. I'm Jacob. And I'm Danny. I'm Ira. My name is Gabriel. My name is Mahina. And we're going to tell you about our lives during Ramadan. What is Ramadan? Ramadan is a month on the Islamic calendar, which is the lunar calendar. It's a time when we fast from dawn till dusk. Which means we don't eat or drink anything. By fasting, people learn how hard it is not drinking or eating. Morning, Mum. Now 4am and we're, we're eating suhoor. Suhoor is the pre-dawn meal that we eat before we start fasting. It acts kind of like a breakfast and is the most important meal. So I've finished eating now. It's 4.50am, so I have about 10 minutes until I have to stop eating. But you must feel really hungry, eh? Well, you think you are, but it actually doesn't take that much to fill you up. The setting of the sun signals the end of the day's fast, which is called iftar. During iftar, a large meal is prepared for you to break your fast with. At the end of Ramadan, a festival called Eid al-Fitr is held to celebrate the end of another successful Ramadan. Even if you're not Muslim and you don't know much about Ramadan or Eid celebrations, you're welcome to join us. You know when you're going about your life and you're like, ah, that's a great photo op. I fancy myself a bit of an office photographer. Everyone wants me to stop, but I can't. Photo up! Check out these jellyfish that have invaded this harbour in northern Italy. They actually did this last year, and scientists reckon weather changes could be responsible for their arrival. And amazing photo up. Now take a picture of this slug. It's got a little red triangle, or I think it kind of looks like a spaceship. It's Australia's largest native land slug. It's called the red triangle slug. People in Brisbane have been excited to spot them in their backyards after some wet weather. Now, if you think this dinosaur toy is big, think again. It's a perspective trick. This 11-year-old boy has been using it to take quirky and creative pictures of tourists at these white salt flats in Bolivia. People love it, and he's become a bit of a photography sensation. And high five. That's it for today. Have a great weekend. <laughs>